In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a personal growth chart in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've downloaded the image from the internet and this is a kind of a head silhouette and when I click, it will show me the first step and then here at the extreme left, I will get the title and the detail text. When I click, it will show me with a different color combination, the step 2, the step 3 and the step 4 and then this will be connected with a red arrow. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert pictures, click on the online pictures and here I am going to type uh, head silhouette and this will give me the silhouette images of the head so i'm just going to type head s-i-l-h-o-u-e-t-t-e -E. and you can see here i've got different images of the head uh, outline with the black background you can see here with the black one so i'm let me just select this image and click on insert and this image got inserted by holding the shift key i'm increasing the size and you can just crop this one you can see here all right so i'm just going to crop this all right and here you can see here the background of this image is white so if you are going to change the background of the image i recommend you to remove the background otherwise if you're keeping it white so there's no need for removing the background of this image you can see here it's it's a white color here all right so anyway I'm just keeping it uh, white background only and the slide also a uh, white then I'm going to rotate I'm going to make it flip horizontal and I'm going to cut from the top part okay for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle covering this much area of this the head silhouette then select this the first image the head image and hold the shift key select this one go to the shape format merge shape and i'm going to subtract so i end up getting a shape which looks like this which is cut from the top again you can see here there's a white background all right so we'll keep it with the white background not a problem and i'm going to place it here the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to insert some options here so go to insert shapes i'm going to select the basic shape which is the oval shape just click it here all right and here i can just give any color of my choice i'm going to give a gradient fill here so right mouse click go to the format shape and i'm going to select the gradient fill by default it will be four stops so i'm going to keep only two stops okay so the first stop i'm going to give a kind of a green color and here i'm going to give a kind of a light green color shape outline make it no outline then press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size of this oval shape all right and here i'm going to give a kind of a white and light gray color and put it exactly on top of this one and you can give some shadow effect here so go to the effects shadow from the presets i'm going to choose this one which is offset bottom so it looks something like this all right so here you can add some icons or some option numbers option number one two three or depend on your requirement so let me just add some icon here go to insert icons and i'm going to choose some icon here so let me just choose the icon which is uh, say this building and click insert the icon got inserted and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 and i'm going to put it here exactly in the center all right and both of these options i mean all these three options i'm going to select and press ctrl g to group it all right now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d so my one option i'm going to keep it here all right press ctrl d one more option i'm going to keep it here and press ctrl d one more option i'm going to keep it here which looks like this all right now i'm going to connect this with the help of a line shape okay and before that one if you want you can just change this icon select the icon go to the graphic format change graphic from icons and you can just choose any relevant 
icon depending on your requirement so let me just choose once it's load sometime is taking time so let me just choose uh, maybe this one and click insert you can see here the icon got changed and if you want you can just change this color also so here i'm going to give a color which is uh, say uh, orange and maybe a yellow color all right so here also i can just go and change any color of my choice maybe i'm going to give a uh, purple with light purple here all right and here also i can give some give a color of blue so dark blue and light blue so you can see here different color combination and you can just change the icons the way i just explained the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to connect this with the help of the line so go to insert shapes select the line which is the free form shape here all right so i'm going to start from here I'm going to click exactly in the center of this, of this, and a little bit outside of the first one, and double click this one, okay? And shape outline, I'm going to give a kind of a maroon, and then increase the width of this. So you can see here, you can just increase the width, and then send this to back. It looks something like this now i would like to add an arrowhead here for that go to insert or you can just add the arrowhead here as well you can see here i'm going to say end arrow type i'm going to select this one so you can see here the arrow is visible all right and the arrow size is bigger all right so it looks more bigger you can do like this or i can just remove this one and i can go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this isolation triangle and just make a same color one shape outline no outline shape fill the same color rotate a little bit and put it here all right select both of this press ctrl G and send this to back again all right so you can see here how it looks then you can just go to the insert text box I'm going to say step 0 1 center align i'm going to choose the font open sans extra bold this is my step one press ctrl d this is my step two ctrl d again step three and step four here all right so i'm just going to rename this one all right again depending on the colors of the choice you can just change these colors as well so anyway for the time being i'm just going to keep it as it is and once this is done go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw or rectangle here all right shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to give some kind of a gray color and then you can add some title for example personal growth chart i will say all right again open sans extra bold i'm going to say choose the font color which is white increase the font size and then you can add this step one press ctrl d move it here make this as white font then go to insert text box here i'm going to type title make it bold white font again and go to insert text box you can add some detailed text here equals lorem within brackets one i don't want this much large text i'm going to cut this reduce the font size to maybe 16 or 14 white font and put it here all right so now we have got step one title and this one align it properly hold the control shift key and drag this down so this is step two step three and step four so you can just change this one again step two step three and step four here so you can see here the design is ready now it's time for us to do some basic animations so go to the animations enable the animation pane so here the first one this should come up 
okay so i'm going to make it a kind of uh, add animations more entrance effects and basic zoom click ok all right then the step one should come again for that add animation more entrance effects stretch click ok and this should come after previous now i'm going to copy this one animation using animation painter this comes here then again step two will be copied then step three copy then comes the step four and copy this as well okay and once this has happened i'm going to select this one and i'm going to use a wipe effect wipe effect i'm going to use it from bottom or you can use it from left also all right and this should happen after previous and if i play so you can see here the first option comes then the step two step three and then step four and then this comes and if you want you can just at the same time when this animation is happening you can animate this as well the detailed text so depending on the requirement you can just choose any animation